Back to the drawing board, an ex-Portsmouth police officer accused of raping a teen takes a plea deal, but the judge says not so fast. Find out why. Tensions continue between parents and the Virginia Beach School Board will take you to a rally against masks in schools. And new at 5.30, Virginia State Police want a piece of the COVID relief funding pie. If they get the millions they're asking for, it could add more body cameras and even helicopters to the force. Plea deal rejected. That's what happened today to a former Portsmouth police officer who's behind bars for allegedly raping a 17-year-old girl. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Harris. And I'm Regina Mobley. The details of what Officer Clishon Cox allegedly did while in uniform and armed with a gun are extremely graphic and disturbing. Cleshawn Cox appeared for what attorneys thought would be a plea to lesser charges of carnal knowledge with abduction with a maximum of nine years. The only thing needed was the approval of Judge Kenneth Melvin. That's when the deal fell apart. Prosecutor Cache Coleman described what happened on the night of May 27, 2019, when Cox and another officer responded to West Wind's apartments on complaints of teenagers making noise. Cox recognized a 17-year-old girl and told her to go home immediately. He separated her from her friends, followed her, and then ordered her to follow him to two locations, including a dark truck parking lot in Chesapeake. The uniformed officer told the teen all the problems of the evening could be resolved if she performed one of three sex acts with him. The officer took off his uniform and, according to police, raped the girl with her face down on the flatbed of a truck. In a previous hearing, she told the court, I guess he was getting a little annoyed with me because he kept telling me to stop crying. After hearing the description of events, Judge Kenneth Melvin, visibly upset, rejected the plea after hearing the allegations involving a man who vowed to protect and serve. So what happens next? The prosecution and defense will present the same plea deal or a different plea deal to the chief judge. If there is another rejection, the case could then go to trial. Cox is due back in court on August 12th.